In early December in 2015, it rained and rained and rained and rained. And the water rose and people were not expecting the, the floods that ensued over that weekend. It was not long before Christmas and people were getting ready for Christmas. They had their Christmas decorations, their presents under the trees and the rivers rose, broke the banks, came into the houses, lifted cars. Yeah, that weekend was Storm Desmond. I think that doing something creative and doing it creative work in a group has a really healing effect and it balances up something that was really quite destructive. People had this experience in their lives which they experienced loss, shock, trauma and they've been able to come to a group and tell their story, tell their story in lots of different ways, tell their story to the whole group or tell their story while they're sat being creative and creating the story in textiles but chatting to one another. The floods in Kendall affected me in different ways at different times I think. I think initially it was more shock really, it was a surprise at what happened and we've lived in a house for 30 odd years and we've never been flooded before, so just disbelief that it was actually happening. I think this helps coming to a workshop because you're talking to other people and it's nice to share other people's experiences and, and actually do something positive out of it. It does help quite a bit, I think. And it's nice that there's different ages as well. Some of the workshops, there were some children at a couple of them, wasn't there, and that was nice to have a mixed age group. Every so often I go in and I walk around and absorb things from the Quaker Tapestry. I go in and walk around and look at the panels. I like the format of the story and the words at the top. A picture that comes forward that is the main story with some back stories around it. And then along the bottom, quite often children's work and little images which add to that story. There's been so much story to tell. We haven't just got one panel. We're having a triptych. We've got three panels. And those three panels are being split into three, which again works really well for a community panel because there's nine pieces for people to be working on. The image I chose, round about where we were, there was an awful lot of press and an awful lot of press, what I thought was intrusion. There were some very elderly people, our neighbours were actually very upset and a lot of the reporters it just seemed to us that they were just in there for a story really and not really worried about the how they were affecting the, the people. And that's the image that I'm doing, just to kind of portray that press. It's a double-edged sword, isn't it, really? It was nice that people were interested and, and seemed to be caring, but at the same time, it, it, it almost went too far. The Pots of Joy came about because um, when we were walking around the area we noticed that there was a lot of help with the housing and uh, redoing the housing but the gardens had been left and was like the last thing on people's minds so we just wanted to bring a bit of cheer to everybody and uh, do the Pots of Joy and give them out to the community. What we did was we had a big event called Give a Day, which was based at Sandyland's Church. Um, this is where everybody volunteered their time for the day and we got plant pots with bulbs in the bottom and then plants in the top and uh, we potted them all up and then the groups of us went out into the community to um, give out the pots of joy. Uh, we also did up a few gardens as well and painted a house as well to help the community. We got a lot of good reaction from people. Um, people were very surprised that we were still thinking about them and it, they felt it was a really nice gift and it cheered them up quite a bit. Yeah. 
I popped home from lunch one day, I think it was last spring, early summer, um, just to check on the dog and found it on the doorstep, so it was a really lovely surprise when I got home. It just had a little spike and a little card saying Pot of Joy, and I'd sort of, I've heard about them on Facebook that people were making them a few weeks before, so I was sort of half expecting to get one. <laughs> It just makes you realise that there's people that care and that not everyone had forgotten because I thought it was a few months after the floods but obviously people were still thinking about everyone and just thinking of something nice to do as people were moving back into the homes really just to remind you that sort of Sandilands Church is just around the corner. In people coming together and creating this project what has come out of it is the same spirit that came out of that weekend that got everyone through which was the community pulled together. People came to Kendall from afar to help out. People spoke to neighbours that they'd never spoken to before. People that arrived with cups of tea, blankets, food, hot food. People were stranded. And I think it's the story of human spirit really um, coming together. <laughs> <laughs>